Hey everyone, welcome to Ecocalypse. So, we're gonna be talking about the SSR selector, but before we talk about it, let's go through the new skins actually that I think you guys will be interested in. And this one is for Vivi, and the other one, this is for Nightingale. This one is an old skin, uh, while Vivi, I think this is the new one that they um, are putting out. So, look at that. So, Technically, I'm I'm eager to get this one, but I'll have to think about it for a while. Let's go, guys, to the update. So, in my thumbnail, it's go it, it was featured there that there's going to be an SSR selector. Okay, and and gonna uh, teach you guys who to choose or who to select. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about the other features of the update. You can actually reference this in the uh, update in their Facebook account. I'm going to be talking about the 8 to 14 days launch chicken event uh, goddess Arya. So add 18 to 14 days uh, launch check-in event goddess Arya. Check in for 10 days to get Fenrir's exclusive SSR vibration arms. So PPF 41. Then check in for 14 days to get SSR selection chest SSR case lineup completion chest. Okay, uh, so this is the lineup that you can choose from. So f 12 out of all of them SSR. So the, the choices will be Yulia, Fenriru, Camellia, Kiki, Toweret, Garula, Regina, Nef Neftisis, Neftis, <laughs> Set. Diana, Wadjet, and Bastet. So I'm gonna give you guys my five recommendations for the picks, and let's move on to those. So again, um, I don't want to repeat the picks. I just want to inform you guys my top five picks for the selector. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sure about three of them because three of them I have used and they are wonderful. I'll start with Kiki here. So Kiki is really good, especially with the uh, DPS. Um, let's look at um, information on her skill here. So for Kiki, um, magic damage on single row. This one also, this is a huge damage at 264 magic damage to a random row of enemies. Additional 20% attack is applied to um, attack is applied to this skill. So again, she is pure DPS and uh, her passive would be to end the battle with least movement. Kiki arrives fully prepared. She starts full rage at the start of the battle, which is actually terrific. When her HP is higher than 60%, launch any attack grants pierce plus 10% and stacking up to 30 times and lasting for three rounds. So again, she has spears, a lot of DPS, for her kit and wouldn't you want to summon for that one next on the list would be yulia yulia is one of the top defenders damage absorption is her trick so charges forward dealing 122 physical damage obviously she's not a damage dealer she is one of your best defenders, and uh, she taunts, by the way. So Eula catches the enemy at the moment, dealing 170 physical damage to target and surrounding enemies with a N times 40% chance to inflict taunt on each row uh, target for one round. So again, the taunt is very useful because this really makes them attack uh, Yulia and skips whatever they need to do. And... Her passive here, the hunter always appears as prayer. Yulia for every 10% of HP decrease, damage reduction increases by 5% up to 25%. So she's one of the best defenders um, slash damage, abs damage absorption that we have. Next is going to be Fenriru. One of the best DPS um, cases that we have. So... Physical damage on a single row of enemies for her attack, for her special. Uh, 154 to 4 random enemies. And 45% physical damage to targets with HP below 50%. Additional 20 hit 
is applied to this attack. So again, this used to be all, but now it's four random enemies. I don't mind. She still packs a punch. So again, Yulia is one of your DPS um, uh, options for her passive. So a start of battle, increase attack by 15% armor and resistance plus 15% for four rounds. So again, they are the best. Um, either you get uh, Ferrero or Kiki for DPS. Yulia is going to be for defense. And the other two, which I don't have at this point, I'm going to pull one of them. First and foremost, it's going to be... Actually, I have one of them here. I'm not using her. Where is she? Okay. Neftis. Neftis. So Neftis is suited for... She has heal. With the lowest HP of 95% for her basic one. And uh, heals allies in the same row for 173 attack. Each enemy with burn increases the healing effect. So she's ideally good for burn teams. But as a healer, um, her kit is good already. So burn and suffer is a nice price to pay for being enemies of Nephitis. Nephit Nef Neftis <laughs> inflicts burn on two random enemies at the start of the battle, lasting for two rounds. So she herself inflicts burn if you don't have anybody who inflict burn. But definitely she is going to be best used in a burn team. So the one that I don't have and probably I will pick in the selector is going to be Diana. Diana here for me, uh, for me is the best healer in the bunch and i'm happy that she, she's in a selector i've been having difficulty getting her for her attack um diana launches an attack that deals 100 magic damage to a single enemy so she does attack then for her special so opens her trunk and heals three allies with the lowest hp 464 percent attack three allies with the lowest hp that's a big heal there's an there's a a 50 percent chance to apply the heal equal to fifth there's a 50 percent chance to apply healing equal to 65 percent of attack to allies with less than 50 percent so again her kit is very very good for healing i think she's one of the best if not the best healer as ssr and her passive is um, at the start of the battle, she grants herself da damage no more than 40% of max HP for two rounds. Uh, she grants herself single damage no more than 45% of max. Okay, she it's, it's kind of a self-buff for her. So, again, those are my five options for you guys. And um, it's up to you what to prioritize, who to build for. If you're asking me... Prioritize either Fenriru and uh, Kiki. Uh, DPS is really DPS cases are really hard to come by. If you have um, both of them, probably get the other so that you could round out your lineup already. So that is it, guys. Those are my recommendations for the Global Launch SSR Selector Box. And again, you know who to choose from your M. So thank you very much guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the warden and I'm out of here.